Okay, we're asked to find the resultant force between these two angles. And so what we're going to do is we're going to start by drawing a picture. What I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a, a line down the middle. So that's the resultant force. That's the sum of these two forces. I've got this 85 and 102. And then I'm going to draw in my parallelogram. Okay, so now by a parallelogram, this is also 85 and this is also 102. The other thing we know about a parallelogram is that this angle and this one here have to equal 180. So 180 minus 65 is 115. This angle is 115. We now have enough information to use law of cosines. I have two sides and the angle between them. And so I can then find this here, this resultant force that I want. So using law of cosines, x squared is going to be 85 squared plus 102 squared minus 2 times 85 times 102 times the cosine of 115. Now what we have to do is simply crunch this through our calculator. Okay, so let's get my calculator up. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to simply start here and I'm going to do 85, well maybe, there we go. There we go, 85 squared plus 102 squared minus, and then in parentheses, 2 times 85 times 102 times cosine of 115, and parentheses, and then I'm going to take the square root of this whole thing, and we can see rounding up, since these were all whole numbers, 158 pounds is going to be the resultant force. And so this is a really simple law of cosines problem like we've already been doing. It's just in this setup. This parallelogram is really useful. It's a good tool to uh, get that resultant force. And so we're going to be using this a lot, so you want to get used of this method.